Hello, this is Ray Albert from Milford CT Marketing, and we get consistent organic leads for your company from Google every single month. But to get there, first we need to address the customer journey. There are five steps in the customer journey. And then the first step of the customer journey is called the interest stage or, you know, the awareness stage. How are they going to find you? There's a famous lawyer here in Connecticut called Carter Mario, who's an injury lawyer. He's all over the place. He has billboards, YouTube channel, you know, Facebook, whatever you want. Uh, you see Carter Mario everywhere. So, you know, people that need an injury lawyer, the first thing that comes to mind is Carter Mario. So this is, this is your position. How are they going to find you? Do they know you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on YouTube? Are you advertising? How are they going to be aware that your business is even in, in existence? So once you're at the top of their mind and they know what you do, who you are, and they need your service, right? So the next thing in the customer journey is they're going to try to find you, right? They're going to look on the internet. They're going to do search uh, Google searches. They're going to look at maps, directories. They're going to look for searches like near me, you know, customers near me. Roofers near me, siding contractors near me. You know, they're going to be looking for those kind of words. Uh, and are they going to be able to find you on the internet? So first is the awareness stage. Then they need your service. They're going to try to find you. So the next step is in the customer journey, now that they need your service and they found you on the internet, they're going to check out your reputation. They're going to look through blog articles, reviews, social media. They're going to ask their friends and family to see how good of a business person you are. Can they do business with you? Can they trust you? Okay. Now, once you pass those three hurdles, then the next step of the customer journey is going to be the conversion stage, right? Does your website convert? At the top of the fold, do you have at least three touch points, a tell call number where if they're on a mobile phone, which most people will find you on, do, you know, is there a number where they can just press it and, you know, they can call you or is there a form fill that they can fill out if they don't want to call you? Is there a book now button there on the top of the fold where they could do a online booking app or something like that? So do you make it easy for them to do business with you? Once they do business with you, the last step of the customer journey is going to be the advocacy, right? This is the most important part because if a person has had a good experience doing business with you, they're going to post it on Facebook, they got to tell their friends and family about you. They got to write a good review on Google. So this part here is very important because it goes to the first part of the customer journey where, first of all, you're at the top of people's minds and they can actually find you on the Internet and you're going to have a good online reputation. So the customer journey is very important and you have to, all five stages of the customer journey you have to be on top of. Okay, so once you get past the customer journey, then Milford Connecticut Marketing has a three-step SEO system to accelerate your organic search. Now, the first phase is we identify top keywords for you to stand out in. Okay, we identify the top keywords that you can get from Google while standing out from the competitors and understanding what type of content to create on your website that will attract your ideal visitors. And this is all data-driven. Now, the second phase is that we ensure Google can find your website. Like I said, we uh, go through your website. We do all the technical issues. Uh, we make sure that you have the robots, TXT site maps, loading times, and all that stuff. There's over 200 ranking factors in Google, and this is a big part of it. So if your website isn't optimized, Google can't really find you. So we want to in increase your search ability through clarified, defined roadmap to get to the top of Google for focus areas and we set up your website for tracking and goal conversions so we can track the keywords that we choose to see that people are clicking on the keywords that we're choosing and to make sure that your website is converting like we want it to okay and the end result is that we're going to enable Google to find your website easier to start ranking for more and more targeted keywords and in phase three we get to the top of Google through backlinking and ongoing optimization. So like I said before, there's 200 ranking factors in Google, and that's a big job in itself, but we build diversified backlinks consistently with high link authority, and we eliminate website barriers through website optimization, like I talked about before, and we increase searchability through implementation of roadmap and embedding targeted keywords to get to the top of Google and focus areas. Now, all of this takes between 6 and 12 months 
to get maximum results. And of course, this depends on where you already start. So if you're at the bottom, your brand new website, and you're just starting out, it's gonna take six to 12 months in order for this to happen. If you're a website that already has some authority, it might be shorter. But let me show you something. This is a company that I started with in 2018. And when I first started with them, they were brand new, didn't have nothing on Google at all. So now they are getting lots of clicks, lots of impressions to their website. This part here, they're a company down in Texas. So this is in hurricane season. They were more in demand, but you know, they're still getting their clicks and impressions on Google every single day. And here is a more clear view of how SEO works when you start from nothing. I started with this company on December the 17th, right here. And as you can see, there are hardly any impressions, any clicks to their website at all, right? Now, we're talking, this is the fifth month. They're in the fifth month right now. So as you can see, in the third month, they started climbing, okay? In the fourth month, they started climbing even higher. But now in the fifth month, all of a sudden, you get this hockey stick increase in search volume and clicks to their website. So this is how SEO works. In the beginning, you're putting in all this work, you're thinking, oh man, it's not working, it's not working, and all of a sudden you start seeing it start happening, you're getting clicks to your website, and everybody's a happy camper, and two months, these people will be banging it on the internet. Now, if you haven't seen my reviews before, uh, these are my five-star reviews from people. If you go into my website, milfordctmarketing.com, you're going to see these reviews. You can go to my Google Business Profile, see my reviews. You can see me on Facebook at Milford CT Marketing. Um, you can see me on YouTube. I'm very transparent in what I do. We're a very intimate company with our customers. We're very choosy who we allow to come into our fold. Okay, We don't allow everybody. It's by invitation only. And this is what sets us apart from the other competitors out there, the big box companies that do SEO for hundreds and hundreds of people. You know, you're treated like a number instead of a person. We treat you like a person. Like I said, I'm very attainable, approachable. You can call me at any time. We treat you like a person. We answer your questions. We know the frustrations that business owners go through trying to get seen on the internet. I've been there myself with my own businesses, so I totally understand it, okay? So anytime you need anything, all you have to do is call me if you have any questions. So I hope to see you on a booking call so we can get together and talk and see if we're a good fit to work together. So with that said, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.